I never thought in a million years I'd be sitting right here. And I know that this is going to help somebody. I became homeless on February 15th. I went to stay with my mom, me and my husband. My mom lost her place in, I wanna say, in the March. We had to leave on the 24th of April. We paid rent through the pandemic. Not too many people can say that, but we were blessed. And people kept telling us, and you don't got to pay your rent. You don't got to pay your rent. And I was like, no, we have to pay the rent because if this ever ceases this rent hold. People are gonna get evicted because they didn't pay that rent. So we paid the rent the hold. We just did what we were supposed to do. <laughs> oh Lord, my yeah. And then for somebody to buy the building up and tell us they were gonna keep us there, we was like, okay. Well, by May, her Airbnb was up and running. This is absolutely amazing, my mother. We don't really look like what we go through. You know, God is good all the time. We go through pain, but we like energize the bunny. We take a licking and keep on ticking. <laughs> Hi, Papa. How are you? I'm good. Okay? Yeah. You working? Oh, okay. And my heart bleeds for every housing insecured individual in the Hudson Valley. Cause it ain't just Kingston, it's Newburgh, Poughkeepsie. The homeless insecurity rate is climbing and climbing and climbing. So is the crime rate. This is one of my neighbors that was at Fair Street that was unjustly evicted as well. So yeah. What you doing well? Though? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Give my girl a hug. You okay? already know. Lifelong community member. Again, her property. Change hands. Her and her daughters out in the street right after she loses her husband. So it's like the cycle's not stopping. She got a job, but she can't find a place to live. Make it make sense to me. So if they don't want crime to hit, they need to figure out where to put these people. But ain't nobody doing the work. I've seen people take apartments in worse conditions just so they won't be in the street. I've talked young ladies down from suicidal thoughts because they felt like they couldn't supply for their kids. Oh my God, you're so gorgeous. To see so many children that don't have a roof over their head, a place to call home, a bedroom they could go play in that's theirs. To see them at these hotels with nothing for them to do. These kids have no toys. They barely have clothes. Because their parents have lost everything. Okay, you just be safe out here. Grandma love you. Alright. I have an address. I have furniture in my apartment. I have food in my refrigerator. I have a bed to sleep on. Never ever look down on your fellow man or woman unless you're giving them a hand to pick them up. Because there through the grace of God go I. That's a model that I love. Because I'm here today and that's what I want to do. I want to help people. Rise Up Kingston's five year community barbecue. Rise Up Kingston is turning five years old and we're doing what we do best. Inviting our community to show out. I think I've always wanted to help people because it's just in my nature and I've been doing it all my life. And it being an abolitionist and an activist and speaking my truth, even when nobody is listening, I'm going to continue. It's your future I'm fighting for. It's making sure that you're not getting evicted because somebody wants to turn the building into an Airbnb. If I could just touch one person a day and make them see their worth or know that they're important, that their voice matters. They're gonna bring it to somebody.
So if we could get other hotels and places that are housing, housing insecure to not do 21 day recycles, like once something happens, they'll, 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 they'll get out your hotel. You don't have to evict them or nothing like that, you know? That's symbolic. Wow. That was just crazy. What just happened? Nobody is over there. No way. And as I'm speaking about the housing insecurity and the housing injustice and what that flag doesn't represent, it falls out the sky. <laughs> Nobody's by that pole. And it just fell and hit the ground where the, they say the American flag is never supposed to touch. Well, guess what? It touched the ground on its own accord. It fell on its own accord as I was talking about the housing injustice, the housing insecurity, and how America is not America. Look at that. That's just like, what greater sign? What greater? Donna, what greater sign? Nobody's over there. The collapse of the symbol of freedom! 